Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This I am Instark Sign and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing the season one, episode 22, which is the season finale of Ages of Shield called The Beginning of the End. So to start off with the incentive program at Cybertech. So basically this guy is gonna walk through through this other person and they're on the incentive program. He's like, yeah, no one can resist that incentive program. And basically they're showing the walkthrough and everything and how, you know, they're trying to f defeat S.H.I.E.L.D. but saying like, in like in a business type of way and not like actual people or anything. Then we cut to where Team S.H.I.E.L.D. versus Super Soldiers. And I think that's where I make his uh, banana pants on them, like I said in the previous episode. This guy does a hack and they escape. And then we cut to where Garrett, <laughs> I said, Derek, damn gone crazy. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I actually said that. Uh, so he, like I said, he's drawing on glass with like a, with like um, a nail or something. And Ward is a little bit concerned, but he's like, I want great astral or something stupid. And basically, um, we cut to where they can't find uh, Fitzsimmons, and we find out that they're actually at the bottom of the ocean, which I'm like, what? And we cut to where Team Shield is going to Cybertech, but then, like I said, um, Ward is, con is concerned with Garrett, because he's, like I said, crazy. The arena asks, like, what she will become. The carrot says that to Raina. Then Fitzsimmons talked about death, and basically um, they were talking, and then Simmons found a way to escape. So basically her thought process is, like, they're trapped on the bottom of the ocean. They can't get out because of all the protectiveness of the actual pod itself. But they can um, escape through the glass because of the sealant around it. They could easily diffuse that and escape through the window. Uh, but only like one of them can go through and then we cut to where um, Quinn is trying uh, to land a contract with the government about the super soldier program then we cut to where Coulson steals a Humvee and then May and Sky go in and then Garrett off the general when they were kind of like having like a, a the general wasn't agreeing with what he was saying, so Gary kind of gets a little too uh, crazy and literally rips out his own spine and gives it to him, and then he kind of goes on a permanent vacation. And then we cut to where Quinn uh, managed to escape, and then we cut to where Ward talks to Raina, and then um, she leaves. Then we cut to where Sky threatens with a uh, with a weapon. And then we cut to where the soldier goes to Garrett. So basically, they you, they play the guy and use the soldiers to go to Garrett, which is what they wanted them to do in the first place. <laughs> and uh, so Coulson follows them to get to Garrett because they because the guy did some type of protocol. Then we cut to where Fitz is staying behind and tells her of his feelings for her. Basically, says that he loves her. And that he's that she's a better swimmer, has a better chance of survival. Um, they also did a beacon as well, and um, he sets off the device, but she takes them with her, and they are above water, and looks like they were hurting really bad, especially Fitz. But Fury got to them, and Fury talks to her and says, "Thank you for using the um, the old beacon to summon them," and that Fitz is going to be okay-ish. There's some brain damage, but he should be okay in the other terms. And then cut to a sky, talks to the guy. Then Ward comes in and basically um, plays them out. And then May comes in. They have one of his epic fight scenes ever. And um, it's basically May versus Ward. Then Coulson finds Fury. Then um, it's them versus Garrett, who's acting Cray. <laughs> then May versus Ward Samal um, again. And like I said, the fight scenes were so insane. And uh, basically, she punches Ward in the throat, nails his foot to the ground, and knocks him out. Because <laughs> it's like, no, 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 wait. And he's like, she's like, uh huh, 
no, boom, no. <laughs> and um, so Sky got to ace and basically she didn't have a, a weapon on her. It was a bunch, bunch of kids' toys. <laughs> and basically sends a message, a message to Deathlock and so Deathlock literally blasts Gary and stomps him out. <laughs> And then we cut to where Sky versus um, and Deathlot talk, and he decides to leave to uh, create like a so he can do like sort of a penance for his actions. Then we cut to where Carrot is still alive and gets an upgrade. Then Coulson, um, awesome with that um, blaster they found, and I, I think it was like Peru or somewhere. And it's like, oh, that's what this thing does. Awesome. <laughs> I see I already obliterated him. <laughs> Uh, and then on um, the weapon, he go um, Fury gets the Colson was the same one that he used on Loki, and he goes, "I know what this does." So it's like a callback to the Avengers, which I, I thoroughly appreciated. Anyway, and um, then Colson literally uh, fuzzes out Fury the next scene, and basically gives him the toolbox, and now he is the new director of Shield. And so they go to the playground where they meet Billy Koenig, who is a twin to Eric that unfortunately went bye-bye. And he's like, you'll each receive your lanyard if and when <laughs> you pass orientation. Basically the same thing as Eric did and like I said, a super fan of Coulson. I think I forgot to mention that with Eric, he was like a super fan. He's like, oh, you already get top clearance, you're fine, you're good. <laughs> Then we cut to where Raina talks to um, Skye's father and says, your daughter is alive and shows a picture of her. Then we cut to where Coulson is doing the wacko drawing now. Because I think he saw us on the drawing of, um, of Garrett and they just kind of sent him over the edge. And uh, he started the drawing. And that was the end of the episode. So really good episode, really, really enjoyed it. I give this an A+, plus. it was really great all around. You can see all the interactions and all the fight scenes and just the strategizing and just everything coming together to like a really good outcome. So I really, really enjoyed this episode a lot. And that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree? Just throw your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe, helps out the channel a lot, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.